Welcome back to the ABCs of RPGs, where we teach you the basics of tabletop role-playing games. In this series, we're teaching how to play the rules light tabletop role-playing game, Cats of Cat Thulu. In this video, we're covering roles. Here's some of the content we'll be discussing. Using cat dice, challenges, the right cat for the job, snake eyes and midnight, dire challenges, a glorious attempt, blaze of glory, and a brush with death. In this game, cats don't know how to count, or add, or do any sort of math at all. This makes rolling dice a little different as well. There are no numbers, only happy cats and sad cats. There are specific cat dice that can be purchased at catthulu.com, but you can also always use two standard d6s instead. Rolling a 1 or a 2 on a standard d6 is a sad cat on cat dice. These indicate a failure and are always bad for the player cats. Rolling a 3 through 6 on a standard d6 is a happy cat on cat dice. These outcomes indicate a success and are always good for the player cats. This also means that cats are always at an advantage throughout gameplay, just as real cats are. If two or more dice are rolled, each roll is read separately. So rolling a 1 and a 6 on standard dice is read as one success and one failure, rather than 7. On cat dice, this would be seen as one sad cat and one happy cat, and again, are read as one success and one failure. It is important to note that these outcomes are the same regardless of who does the rolling. For example, if an enemy rolls a one and a two on standard dice or two sad cats on cat dice, this is read as two failures and is actually good for the enemy and considered bad for the cats. Unless they're a cat themselves, but we'll get more into that in part five, scrapping. Challenges. Challenges arise as cats attempt certain actions. When a player attempts a challenge, the cat herder will call for a roll of two cat dice. There are three basic levels of challenges. Easy, normal, and hard. An easy challenge requires at least one success or one happy cat to do. In a normal challenge, one success gets the cat partial but not complete progress towards the goal, while two successes means the cat completes the challenge on the first try. In a difficult challenge, two successes are required for the cat to complete the task at hand. There is no partial success rewarded in a difficult challenge. Rolling one failure or one sad cat is considered a complete failure of the challenge. Challenges are made easier though if you are the right cat for the job. The right cat for the job is a mechanic that gives players an advantage while rolling for challenges. Players can lobby their cat herder to try to convince them that a certain piece of their story, description, or experiences makes them the right cat for the job. The cat herder will decide if this is a convincing enough argument to make that player the right cat for the job. If there is no right cat for the job, the role is treated like any other challenge at the set difficulty. Page 24 of the Cats of Cthulhu Book 1, The Necronomicon, gives examples of challenges a given role may excel in. When rolling as the right cat for the job, a player still rolls two cat dice or 2d6. However, one is automatically a success. This means easy challenges automatically succeed, normal challenges always get at least partial success, and difficult challenges only require one happy cat or one success to succeed. It's important to note that even though an easy challenge automatically succeeds, the right cat for the job still rolls because additional effects may happen on double ones or sixes, which we'll cover in a second. Let's go through an example. Dalton is playing a mixed house cat, Cacrobat, named Perry. His cat sees that there is a bag of treats placed precariously on top of the fridge. The cat herder says that if Perry wants the treats, it's considered a normal challenge. However, since Perry is a Cacrobat, he is the right cat for the job because his roll makes him very dexterous. So Dalton rolls 2d6 and gets one happy cat and one sad cat. Normally, this would mean only a partial success, but being the right cat for the job grants him an additional happy cat and he gets a full success. Snake Eyes and Midnight. When rolling your dice, there's a chance for double ones or double sixes to show up. Double ones are referred to as snake eyes and are considered an embarrassing failure. The rolling player gets first dibs to describe how their cat has tragically failed. The other players may then give their input. And lastly, the cat herder will finalize the story. If the right cat for the job rolls double ones on an easy challenge, this is called an embarrassing success. Since the right cat for the job automatically gets one success, they are able to describe how their cat succeeded despite the odds. Double sixes is referred to as midnight and is considered a triumphant success. The rolling player again gets first dibs at describing what happened, followed by the other players and then the cat herder. Now, let's move on to some special challenge scenarios. Dire challenges. Dire challenges occur when a cat could get hurt in attempting an action or you have one shot before something terrible happens. 
The stakes are beyond ordinary in dire challenges. Because of this, only a cat that is the right cat for the job can even attempt a dire challenge. Unless you're doing a blaze of glory, but more on that in a minute. A dire challenge is treated just like a difficult challenge for a normal cat. Therefore, it requires two successes to succeed, and no automatic successes are rewarded for being the right cat for the job. Also, each failure incurs an injury and is applied either to the rolling cat, another character, or even an item in the environment, as determined by the cat herder. For example, an injury could be applied to a nearby kitten or a valuable artifact. This risk of multiple injuries and even death makes dire challenges risky to even attempt. Glorious attempt! During a dire challenge, the right cat for the job may choose to give up one of their nine lives to gain an extra cat die to roll when attempting a dire challenge. This is called a glorious attempt. Only two successes are still needed to complete the dire challenge. However, an injury is also inflicted for each failure rolled. So while it's easier to get two successes with three dice, if three failures are rolled, the cat sustains three injuries and is dying. More to come on injuries and dying in part six of the series. Blaze of Glory! In a blaze of glory, any cat, not just the right cat for the job, can triumphantly succeed at any one challenge roll of any skill level. This means succeed on any easy, normal, difficult, or even dire challenge. The catch? The cat using a blaze of glory automatically dies in the attempt. All lives are used up, and there are no special tricks to avoid this outcome. The player performing the blaze of glory gets first dibs on describing the spectacular success and the ensuing demise of their cat. Brush with death. In a brush with death, a cat is in a scenario in which by all means, odds, or luck, they should die. The cat herder can call for the cat to attempt a brush with death, which is treated similar to a single glorious attempt at a dire challenge level. This means the cat must spend one of their nine lives and roll three cat dice. Three successes means the cat escapes unscathed, and two successes means the cat survives with just one injury. If the cat rolls one or no successes, they outright die. They do not enter the dying status as they normally do when they sustain three injuries. A brush with death is exactly that. Let's go through an example. Grey Claw is starting across a busy road in pursuit of some cultists in service to the frog god. Unbeknownst to Grey Claw, a nearby building is collapsing underneath the weight of a million frogs! Grey Claw is a scrapper, so he isn't particularly dexterous and never noticed the building creaking and swaying. By all means, Grey Claw should be crushed by falling debris. The Cat Herder gives Grey Claw the chance for a brush with death. Grey Claw spends one of his nine lives and rolls three cat dice. He then rolls two happy cats and a sad cat, or two successes and a failure. That means he escapes with just one injury. The Cat Herder describes the events. Grey Claw's tail was caught underneath the brick, but he is otherwise unscathed in this near-death experience. In the next video, we're covering scrapping! Scrapping is just like combat in other tabletop RPGs. And as a cat, it's important to protect your turf. Keep on learning, and we'll see you in the next video.